The iPhone 16 Pro Max as per Apple is 20% better than last year's model in sustained performance. And that's exactly what this heavy workload test is all about. Which phone can handle the heavy load for a longer time? So let's see if the new graphite clad aluminum substructure makes any difference in heavy usage. Yes, the new structure makes the 16 Pro Max a lot better as you see here, but why iOS 18 makes the 15 Pro Max's sustained performance a lot worse? I kinda believe that Apple intentionally tuned down the 15 Pro Max performance to make the newer model look more pleasing. Maybe I went too far, but in this quick side by side you can see how the 15 Pro Max halfway through started to lag like crazy with iOS 18 while on the right the same phone was performing just fine at the same time stamp just a month ago on iOS 17.6.1, so more on that later, and now let's begin the comparison. As usual, the test requires each phone to run four heavy tasks at the same time for 30 minutes as shown now on the screen. All phones are running the latest stable software versions available at the time of filming this video. I will be using cellular data with 5G set to auto, the Android phones are set to their maximum resolutions, which is higher than the iPhones. The 120Hz refresh rate is activated, and the brightness level is calibrated on the same light meter. The test will start with 80% battery on all phones. The initial temperatures in Celsius from left to right are 29.1, 31.3, 31.2, and 31.2. Keep in mind that the thermometer gives a higher reading before adjusting itself, so I only take the most consistent highest number. And now let's prepare the phones. Task number one is a Microsoft Teams meeting with the screen sharing enabled. I will show you the screen sharing performance in a floating window when the test begins as I don't have enough space to show everything in a reasonable size. Task number two is to play a 2160p video on YouTube in picture in picture view, then start Google Maps navigation in the background, and to finally play Asphalt Unite. Before starting the stopwatch, let me show you that the game is set to 60 frames per second on all phones, and now let's begin. Right off the bat, the test preparation was enough to let the iPhones dim their displays to avoid overheating with the edge going to the 16 Pro Max over its predecessor, while the Android phones are still intact. So let's move forward to see what's gonna happen. After 48 seconds, the 16 Pro Max paused the YouTube video for 9 seconds while everything else runs smoothly. I'm sure it's not a network issue because I have a strong signal, the internet speed reaches up to 600 megabit per second in a bad day, and other phones using the same SIM card didn't do this. But I will let it slide for now as it only happened once, so it could be a bad luck. Shortly after, between the 1 minute and 1 minute and 40 seconds mark, the S24 Ultra slowly dropped the brightness which didn't allow me to spot the exact time stamp, but here's a screenshot comparing this race menu with the previous one to show you the difference. Now it matches the 15 Pro Max, while the Pixel leads the competition and the 16 Pro Max is somewhere in between. Till now all phones are running smoothly and as usual the iPhones deliver the best screen sharing performance, while on Android it's noticeably slower, so I'm not gonna keep highlighting this. After 3 minutes and 18 seconds, the 15 Pro Max had a big brightness drop to be the darkest across the board by a good margin. The 9 Pro XL is still impressively in the lead, followed by the 16 Pro Max, and the S24 Ultra comes third, while the performance remains consistent on all phones till now. But only 40 seconds after at the 4 minutes mark, the S24 Ultra started to dim the display again to be as dark as the 15 Pro Max, while the other two phones are still holding their rankings, so let's keep going. Now 8 minutes have passed and that's when the 15 Pro Max's performance started to fall apart. It paused the YouTube video like the 16 Pro Max and it didn't happen once, but it kept happening from this point till the end of the test, which means it's definitely related to the thermal management. On a side note, the S24 Ultra dropped the brightness for the third time after 8 minutes and 13 seconds. Shortly after, the 9 Pro XL had its first brightness drop after 8 minutes and 26 seconds, so the 16 Pro Max took the brightness lead from the Pixel for the first time to be the second, while the S24 Ultra and the 15 Pro Max come last with almost identical brightness. Back to the 15 Pro Max, after multiple pauses to the YouTube video, the game performance started to get impacted as well to a point that navigating the game menu was a nightmare. 
Sometimes it doesn't respond to touches, the scrolling was extremely laggy, and it kept getting worse as the time goes by. I consider this as a failure as the game was unplayable plus it was pausing the YouTube video more than playing it. And that's why I think iOS 18 is the reason behind this because I did the same performance test last month on the same phone on iOS 17.6.1 and after the same period of time it was still flying plus it didn't pause the YouTube video even once back then. Here's a quick snippet from the previous video showing how well the 15 Pro Max performed on iOS 17.6.1 at the 10 minutes mark and the first performance issue took place after 22 minutes rather than 9 minutes like on iOS 18. The video link is in the description if you want to check it yourself but let's take a quick break to tell you more about the channel's wallpaper app in case you don't. Wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app is now available on Google Play Store. It will give you unlimited access to my exclusive wallpapers that are carefully designed to match your taste and work nicely with material you theming. But there is even more. The app will give you the flexibility to edit your lock and home screen wallpapers separately. You can add blur, adjust the brightness or even change the colors to make it your own. And to match the edits for both screens, tap the copy edits button so you don't have to repeat yourself. Lastly, you can save and sync your favorites across all your devices by signing into your Google account. The app is available on Google Play Store with a 50% discount for the first month to be at $1.99 instead of $3.99 and here's what you will get. Lifetime access to all wallpapers, 12 new exclusive wallpapers every week, plus all the previously mentioned features. The download link is in the description and I'm eagerly waiting to hear your feedback. Back to the test and after 13 minutes and 15 seconds, the S24 Ultra gave a thermal warning and closed the picture-in-picture -picture window. Last month, it did the same but after 14 minutes and 45 seconds. So it seems like One UI 6.1.1 didn't give any performance gains to the S24 Ultra. I also measured the temperature and it maxed out at 48 degrees Celsius. In contrast, the new iPhone and the 9 Pro XL are still running smoothly with the edge going to the 16 Pro Max in the brightness since the 8 minutes and the 26 seconds mark. So let's see if the pixel will take it back. And finally, after 17 minutes and 14 seconds, the 16 Pro Max had its second brightness drop to give the lead back to the 9 Pro XL. And this is the last brightness drop in this test, which means the pixel took the lead in the first 8 minutes and 26 seconds and from this point till the end of the test, so overall it wins the brightness. The only similarity here is both are still running the game smoothly with the same level of graphics which is impressive. It's mind-blowing that Google achieved this level of sustainability with Tensor G4 that gets half the score of the A18 Pro chip in Geekbench. So let's fast forward to the last checkpoint. Unfortunately, 6 seconds before the finish line, the 16 Pro Max paused the YouTube video for the second time, but I will also let it slide for two reasons. First, 6 seconds are not that much, plus I don't want Apple fans to get mad at me in the comments, but I will just take it as a note. Now the test is done and the 9 Pro XL temperature ranged between 48 to 49 point something, the 15 Pro Max reached 44.5, and the 16 Pro Max reading was at 45.5. And now let's compare the numbers. Only the 16 Pro Max and the 9 Pro XL made it till the end without any major issues, with a slight edge to the Pixel for not pausing the YouTube video while the iPhone did it twice. Both the 15 Pro Max and the S24 Ultra failed. The iPhone started to lag and paused the video a lot of times after the 8 minutes mark, but don't forget that the 15 Pro Max did much better with iOS 17 in the same test. The S24 Ultra also failed as it gave a thermal warning after 13 minutes and 15 seconds and closed the picture-in-picture -picture window. For the brightness, the 9 Pro XL is the winner for having the brightest display for 21 minutes and 12 seconds in total. The 16 Pro Max had the second brightest display and it took the lead for only 8 minutes and 28 seconds. The 15 Pro Max and the S24 Ultra were about the same, so I will give both the last spot. For the battery, both iPhones consumed only 10%, which is 0.33% per minute. The Pixel consumed 16% or 0.53 per minute, and the S24 Ultra consumed 9% in 13 minutes or 0.69% per minute. 
ranking wise the iphones come first followed by the pixel and the s24 ultra comes last but you need to consider the brighter and the higher resolution display of the 9 pro xl which definitely had more impact on the battery the gameplay and the graphics on the 16 pro max and the 9 pro xl were identical so both take the first spot while the other two come last for the temperature the s24 ultra is the worst as it reached 48 degrees in 13 minutes the 9 Pro XL got the same 48 degrees as the Galaxy but after 30 minutes, the 16 Pro Max comes third with 45.5 and the 15 Pro Max was the coolest at 44.5 which is expected for its poor performance. And lastly, the iPhones had the best screen sharing performance followed by the Android phones. So here's my final conclusion. I will call it a draw between the 9 Pro XL and the 16 Pro Max as each one had its own pros and cons. But both delivered a great sustained performance with the edge going to the pixel for having a higher temperature to cook a couple of eggs without any extra cost. The 15 Pro Max was very disappointing thanks to iOS 18 and the S24 Ultra is always failing since it got released unlike the S23 Ultra that used to pass this test like a piece of cake. So that's pretty much it for today that was my heavy workload test between the 16 Pro Max, the 15 Pro Max, the 9 Pro XL and the S24 Ultra. Please let me know in the comments what do you think but for now thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.